we don't have the angle of the shadow of the tree, I will place myself into any part of the shadow of the tree so that my shadow ends with the same shadow of the tree. And now, by measure myself and by knowing the distance between the end of the shadow and myself, I would know the angle because it is relative to all items here in, around us. Now I'm going to measure the height of the shadow of Natalia. And the measure is um, 93 centimeters. Measure the height of Natalia. And I measure 161 centimeters. Now that we have calculated both sides of the small fraction of the real triangle we're trying to measure, we can calculate the angle using tangent because Natalia's height and Natalia's shadow is relative to the tree's height and the tree's shadow. Now, this is the tree and this is its own shadow and this is myself. So, we already know this one which is 93 centimeters and I measure 161 centimeters and by using the, the formula tangent of the angle which is um, the opposite side over the adjacent side which is the opposite of this angle is 161 centimeters over the adjacent side which is this one 93 centimeters so 161 over 93 it's 1.73 and by using the shift and tangent we will get the angle and the angle is 59.98 degrees now that we have the 60 degrees angle, we're going to measure its adjacent side. So it measures 500 centimeters. So now we have this angle which is equal to 60 degrees and the shadow of the tree measures 500 centimeters. So, by knowing the angle and its adjacent, adjacent side, we can use a tangent as well, which is opposite over adjacent, tangent of 60 degrees. Opposite, we don't know the opposite side, but we, but we do know the adjacent. Now, we have to multiply tangent of 60 degrees by 500 centime like centimeters, which is equal to tangent of 60 by 500 centimeters, it's equal to 866. Now we have the height of the tree, which is 866 centimeters, and its shadow that measures 500 centimeters and with these both sides we can now calculate the sine of the angle 60 degrees so sine of 60 degrees is equal to the opposite side which is 866 over the hypotenuse which will give us Hypotenuse is equal to 866 centimeters over sine of 60 degrees. 866 over the sine of 60 degrees, which is 999.9. So the hypotenuse is equal to 999.9 centimeters. And now the, uh, this angle, it's equal to 90, 90 degrees. Uh -huh. 
So we know that that an the, the triangle is conformed by 180 degrees. So by um, so um, you it's subtract exactly. both angles that we have already calculated. So from 180, the missing angle it's equal to 30 degrees. And now we have all our triangle, which is 500 centimeters, 60 degrees. The hypotenuse is 999.9 centimeters. This one is 800. And so, and this side is about 866 centimeters, centimeters, and this one is 90, 90 degrees, and this angle is 30 degrees. So, the